Chapter 91 Apocalyptic Zombies You are listening at NovelFull.audio Translator Endless Fantasy Translation Editor Endless Fantasy Translation 30 miles eastward from Jinyantan Village It was past seven in the evening now. The sun was setting and the night slowly descending. Near the gully, a short dot haired woman wearing spandex and smoky make dot up was sitting cross dot legged, and lying beside her was a boar over a dozen meters in length and was covered in a layer of pitch dot black scales. The boar's tusks were long and it also had a single dark horn above its head, and it was as tall as a one dot floored building even though it was lying down. A petrifying aura was emitting from its horn too. Weirdly, however, there was a vague gray sheet of deathly air around its body. Upon closer look, one would see a gaping hole in the horned boar's abdomen. The flesh around it had dried up, however, and its innards were visible, though they had all shriveled into a tangled bunch and showed no signs of life. It was a rank point eight feral, slain by one of Sky Demon Cult Sentinels, its corpse now awarded to the Decan, Pain Star. That is, the woman beside the dead boar. Aside from the horned boar, Killer Star's corpse was also covered in a layer of grey mist, and standing behind Pain Star like a piece of wood. Nearby, there were almost a hundred ferals and twelve hundred human corpses. Ednell.co all those ferals were dead. In fact, some of them had been pierced so thoroughly that black blood was still dripping from their wounds, and just like the human corpses, they were covered in a faint grey mist that had the impression of apocalyptic zombies. One of the top-ranked Deccans in the Sky Demon Cult, Pain Star earned her place not because of her physical strength. In fact, she could be very weak in a fight, and a rank .5 martial artist would be capable of killing her if they could get close enough. However, it was her superpower that was exceedingly terrifying. She has the ability to summon corpses to fight for her. Of course, while her power did have limitations, it remains extremely horrific. She would definitely be a genocidal machine in the battlefield. Lady Payne Star Jinyantan village has been fully evacuated. Nearby, a fiend whose whole body was releasing a scorching aura spoke reverently. However, the villagers were being escorted by the military and a grandmaster, which prevents me from attacking. As for Jiang He, I suppose he would have left with the escort. The heavenly general, Earthen Savage was a red dot haired man and appeared to be in his thirties. He was an A dot class awakened with fire dot type powers who could match a rank point seven grandmaster. Meanwhile, Pain Star slowly opened her eyes. She extended her hand, and a rat appeared in her palm. The creature was around three inches long and was surrounding with the faint deathly mist as well. It squeaked even as it crawled around Pain Star's palm but when it was done squeaking in the deathly mist around it faded, it became a corpse once more. A flash of surprise appeared in Pain Star's eyes then. Then, she covered her lips with one hand and giggled coquettishly. Interesting. How interesting. What a stubborn little kid. He is actually so brave that he would remain alone in the village, does he really believe that the Sky Demon Cult is helpless against him? That was when the air boomed twice as two other fiends rushed to the scene. One of them was the Earthen Majesty Heavenly General, and his hair was all white and had a slight hunch. He was also holding a long alloy staff. The other man, the Earthen Diction Heavenly General bore a slight resemblance to Earthen Majesty. However, his posture was straight and he appeared spirited. Both men were rank .7 martial arts grandmasters and ranked high amongst the 70.2 fiends, boasting brute power. You're back. How did your task go? Pain Star asked flatly as she turned to both men. Earthen Diction forced a smile in response. The leopard python is gone. We checked its lair, but the entire valley was flattened from bombardment, and I fear the snake was killed by the military. Oh. Pain Star nodded but was unconcerned, and she slowly rose and continued flatly, that snake is merely a rank point seven intermediate. It won't affect the course of the battle much anyway. Beside her, the horned boar slowly rose to its feet then. 
Behind her, Killer Star's corpse suddenly opened his eyes, his gaze so still that it would weird out anyone. At the same time, Pain Star looked out into the distance, night had arrived, but the moon was very bright, so it was not too dark. Smiling faintly, she said, intelligence suggests that a rank point nine elite is stationed at the Shibe area and could reinforce our objective at any time, so let's avoid dragging this out and dreaming too much. Launch the attack right now, we shall trample over Jinyantan village, take Jiang He's head and slaughter our way into Lingzhou city. Earthen Majesty's gaze twitched then, and he said quietly, my lady, if the rank point nine comes. It's fine. Pain Star smiled. Sixth Elder has arrived at Mount Dadong three hours ago, representing the saint as he negotiates with the Grey Wolf King. When we had taken Lingzhou City, Sixth Elder would arrive to preside over it. When that happens, the fraternities of the Western Frontier and Yungui would come to reinforce us too. With that, our holy faith shall use Lingzhou City as our base to slowly devour all of Shibei. Then, with a single command from Pain Star, the ferals and human corpses began to charge rapidly at Jinyantan village like hordes of zombies. Some of the corpses had missing limbs or broken skulls, and yet they all ran swiftly, covering mountains and hills at a pace that could match martial artists. Most of the corpses had been normal humans, but under Pain Star's control that strengthened them supernaturally in death, each corpse could match a rank. One martial artist inability. Most importantly, they would never fear death. Indeed, rank point one martial artists could lose the ability to fight if you stab them once. On the other hand, when it comes to Pain Star's corpses, you could stab so many holes that they became a sieve, but they would still try to kill you, howling as they did so. Meanwhile, back at Jinyantan village. Jiang He stepped out of his yard after digging out all his potatoes. The whole village was silent, with every villager having moved away. Stretching out lazily, Jiang He took out an orange bottle gourd and blew into it. Bang! A puff of smoke landed on the ground, turning into second brother. Gramps! He greeted Jiang He. Use your all dot seeing eye and all dot hearing ears. Check where the sky demon cultists are hiding. Second brother nodded and leaped up the roof, his eyes shooting beams as he looked around. Still, he could not see anything as there were too many obstacles in the distance, and so jumped down, placed his ear on the ground, and listened. That was when his expression changed. Gramps, around 30 kilometers eastward, a lot of people are rushing in our direction. Oh. Delight showed on Jiang He's face and he laughed out loud. Good. And I was wondering where I should start my search. Stuffing second brother back into his bottle gourd, Jiang He climbed into his car and headed to the east side of the village and began burying potatoes. Even as he dug, he said, luckily, I'll probably be rid of most of my problems tonight, or I won't be able to eat or sleep in peace. Still, there's another wave waiting after this one. But that cures the symptom and not the cause. Chapter 92 Forgive me for being direct. You are listening at Novel Full Audio. Chapter 92 Forgive me for being direct. Translator Endless Fantasy Translation Editor Endless Fantasy Translation Jiang He basically dug out his entire yard to harvest 150 potatoes. But that did not add up and he wondered if he should dig again when he returned. After all, this stuff would explode if anyone stepped on it, and it would be hilarious if he blew himself up for his own negligence. In the meantime, he had planted 50 out of the 150 potatoes, saving a hundred. To ensure that the firepower was sufficient, Jiang he arranged them close to each other. He planted five rows with ten in each row, with a distance of 30 meters between each potato to put up a square formation stretching over 300 meters by 150 meters. After he had finished planting his landmines, Jiang he put his sports car into his system backpack so that it would not be caught in the blast. Then, he drew out a carrot and ate while he waited. And in the time that he finished one, boom! The earth rumbled. 
Jiang He's ears pricked up and he exclaimed in surprise, what's that sound? It feels like thousands of people are running at the same time. He rose to his feet and looked out to the east. Under the moonlight, he could see waves of human figures dashing wildly away on the tar road of the mountaintop farms. Their movements might be stiff, but they were exceedingly rapidly as they dashed alongside enormous ferals. The most I dot catching was one particularly massive pig. Jiang he could feel its frightening presence even though it was 700 meters away. Eh. Jiang he suddenly gasped in surprise then. A boar knight. Am I seeing things, or is there really someone sitting on top of the boar? He had to be seeing things. Riding a boar. While the revival of Qi had prompted certain boars to evolve into powerful creatures, but riding one. How low would a person's aesthetical values be to do that? But even as that thought crossed his mind, Jiang he had already drawn out his dragon, slaying Saber. In the distance. Pain Star was seated cross-legged over the horned boar. Killer Star, who was following the creature, was still dripping blood from the gaping sword wound over his chest, his dead eyes glimmering with an unnerving milkiness. At the same time, the heavenly generals Earthen Majesty, Earthen Diction, and Earthen Savage were staying tightly by their side. Pain Star spoke then, asking, where are the remaining members of our group? My lady, they are hiding in an unpopulated village right now, but would join the battle at Lingzhou City upon your command. Earthen Savage responded with reverence. Pain Star, however, waved him off. No need. It's Lingzhou City. There's not even a rank point nine around, they would never stop me unless they deploy arsenals of high-dot-grade thermal weapons. Her words were filled with confidence. After all, her superpower was enough for her to stand alone against an army in such battles. As for arsenals of high-dot-grade thermal weapons. With over several hundred thousand individuals populating Lingzhou City, as long as the martial arts department, MAD, and military would not abandon their rationality and resort to citywide slaughter, they would never have the guts to use thermal weapons. Earth Indiction You're good at posture techniques, so take point and scout ahead. Yes, my lady. The Earth Indiction Heavenly General darted away rapidly, and returned as quickly as he left, saying, My lady, there is someone obstructing our path ahead. Oh. Delight appeared over Pain Star's face as bloodlust flashed in her eyes for an instant. Licking her devilishly purple lips, she exclaimed in excitement, Are they mad or military? How many are there? Just one person. Earth Indiction said quietly. I couldn't see clearly because he was quite far, but from the look of his figure, it seems to be Jiang He, the one who had slain dozens of our fellow believers, the tranquil heavenly general the Earth Demon Heavenly General, and Killer Star. What's going on? Over the ridge of a cornfield, Jiang He was blinking even as he carried his dragon, slaying Saber. A geezer seemed to have been running towards him. He was quick, but it also seems that he turned and ran after he saw Jiang He from 300 meters away. The codger isn't a weakling. He moved so quickly that he has to be a rank point seven Grandmaster, and probably stronger than the Earth Demon Heavenly General. When Jiang he considered whether he should give chase and stab the old man a bit, the rumbling was suddenly slowing down. The hordes of human figures were now distinct in Jiang He's vision. Since the distance was too far before for Jiang He to see clearly, now that they were just several hundred meters away, he could now make out a facial scar on one of the person's face. It must have been a gash left by a feral because half his face was missing, and one of his eyes was dangling out of its socket. At the same time, the blood on his face had yet to dry, and kept dripping out without end. The person beside him was no better, he was dragging one of his own arms on the ground along with his body. It must have been mauled by a feral, leaving half-dot-chewed bones, tendons, and skin. More bizarrely, there was a vague gray mist covering their bodies, and their eyes were a bizarre gray hue. What the hell? How frightening. Jiang he couldn't help shuddering. It was a sight that made him remember the zombie movies he had watched in his last life, 
and those monsters were no different from the corpses here. Even as those thoughts crossed his mind, those walking dead slowly made their way towards Jiang He, with quite a few ferals amongst their ranks. So, the ferals are zombies too. They must have been the missing bodies of the villagers, townsfolk, and ferals. Rage brewed in Jiang He's gaze at that very thought. He had nothing against the Sky Demon Cult's ambition to conquer the world, but those civilians were innocent. Meanwhile, the zombies all stopped 200 meters away from Jiang He. With over a thousand of them gathered in a rather tight formation, Jiang He could not help being worried. Could the potatoes he buried really blow they all up in a single blast? Well, it's fine. I could just throw a few more pea bombs to follow up. Keek keek. That was when crisp laughter echoed from behind the zombies. Boom. Boom. The earth shook as a horned boar that stood taller than a bus advanced from the rear. Pain Star slowly rose to her feet atop the horned boars back then, laughing as she fiddled with her short hair. You have some guts, in you, kiddo. But did you really think that my holy faith is helpless against you just because you wiped out some pieces of trash? Jiang he gaped. What the hell? Was that? Really a boar knight? And was that woman over thirty? To think that an old cow was acting youthful, putting on smoky makeup, and thick makeup at that. Jiang he could see that clearly under the moonlight, even though there was a distance of two hundred meters between them. Really? He could not bear to look. Guess I have myself to blame for eating too many carrots and getting such perfect eyesight. Even as he complained inwardly, Jiang he studied their group as well as the horde of zombies, inwardly praising his own maneuver. Forgive me for being direct, he said earnestly, but a bunch of uglies like you would never defeat me. Chapter 93 Boom! It blew up. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Translator Endless Fantasy Translation Editor Endless Fantasy Translation The Community Office of Jinyantan Village. Dot several figures were hidden on top of the building, members of Lingzhou City's Martial Arts Department, MAD, who remained here to monitor the situation. And one of them was Su Zhe. Right now, he was holding a pair of night dot vision binoculars and staring afar. Chief Duan, Jiang he left his house. He just stopped on the eastern edge of the village and appears to be burying something. The distance is too far and a cornfield is in the way. I don't have clear visuals. Su Zhe was updating his higher dot ups about the situation, when a loud rumbling echoed from the distance. He quickly turned towards it, but when he still could not get a clear look, he promptly yelled, Bro F.A., come take a look. There was a youth who had been playing with his phone nearby, although he only heard Su Zhe after he shouted at him again. He rose and stood on the edge of the building. There was a brief flash in his eyes as his superpowers kicked in, and he looked far into the dark night when his expression changed. There are so many people. No, those are zombies. Chief Duan's hunch was right. The Sky Demon Cult must have sent a superhuman with powers to control dead bodies, converting every missing body in feral into zombies. The youth's voice was very loud. His superpower was the all-seeing dot eye, and while he was Pudgy Zhang's subordinate, Duan Tianhe had borrowed him by force. Meanwhile, back at the mad. Once Duan Tianhe received the call, he promptly alerted Qing Dongfeng, who rushed to his office fully equipped. He was wearing full dot body alloy armor and carried an S dot grade alloy combat blade, whilst bearing a somber look on his face. Old Cheng, I have to stand watch over Lingzhou City. This time. All right, all right, quit with the act. Cheng Dongfeng barked, cutting Duan Tianhe short. I know Lingzhou City is important, so just be frank. What should I do? Without further ado, Duan Tianhe quickly told him, I have a weapons company on standby outside the city. You should leave immediately, and bring them along to Jinyintan village to support Jiang He. Don't let him fight alone. All right. Qing Dongfeng strode out. After he left, 
Duan Tianhe made another call, barking orders, send the word and have everyone be on alert to stop the Sky Demon Cult from attacking Lingzhou City. As a matter of fact, Duan Tianhe was well aware that the Sky Demon Cult had sent a considerable force into Shibei, even mobilizing their elites to deal with Jiang He. Even so, he could not afford to be careless. Right after he hung up, Duan Tianhe thought of something and made another call. This is Duan Tianhe. There has been a Sky Demon Cult elite spotted near Lingzhou City. Requesting support. Yuzhen. Although this was a small mountain town under Lingzhou City's jurisdiction, it was now a military base, with various military fortifications set up around the town. Aside from the standard military force, there were also military elites standing guard here. And soon enough, a single figure bounded away from Yuzhen and headed towards the direction of Lingzhou City. He was a rank.9 senior grandmaster, a middle.aged man dressed in military standard and carrying an S.grade longsword slung over his back. His body was palpating a blazing aura, and his movements were rapid, even if Yuzhen was over 300 kilometers away from Lingzhou City, he would reach it in just an hour. Be that as it may, after the Grandmaster had reached over a hundred miles away from Yuzhen, an ear-dot-splitting howl resounded from the direction of Mount Dadong. As he turned to look, he could see the silhouette of a grey wolf in the air, even if he was a hundred miles away. At the same time, a raging bellow echoed in Yuzhen, followed by thunderbolts that flashed over the night sky. Grey Wolf King The rank.9 Grandmaster stopped in his tracks, his gaze shifting. Yuzhen was being guarded by a champion who surpassed rank.9 and the Grey Wolf King would not have been a threat. And yet, the senior Grandmaster sensed something foreboding for the beast to suddenly attack at this precise moment. He studied his surroundings. Lus Hills stretched on alongside both sides of the road, and the senior Grandmaster found a lone figure standing atop one of the peaks, stroking his blade and laughing, the whole world knows that Commander Wang of the Shibei Militarized Zone is one of the rare few godly champions in this world, but imagine my surprise of finding out that Cheng Jingzhou, leader of the 3rd Shibei Field Operations Division to be an impressive elite too. Snicked. A raging blade will abruptly let loose, and a figure dashed down from the mountain, striking towards the Grandmaster. Without a word, the Grandmaster readied his sword to meet his foe. His true chi surged, causing his alloy longsword to burn in pale scarlet flames. Still, compared to the blade.wielder who was attacking him, his swordplay appeared much duller, inelegant, and certainly not that menacing. However, after just a dozen exchanges, the blade.wielder suddenly let out a weird cry, twitching as he retreated. There was a single sword cut on his arm where blood was streaming out. Sword will. The blade-wielding man exclaimed in surprise. You've actually gained sword will. You are filled with surprises, Chen Jingzhou. Chen Jingzhou frowned in response and shot back with a thick Shibei accent, You dog, just stick to the fighting, or flee if you can't win. Why bother wasting your breath? As if in response, the blade-wielding man blew a long whistle, and two figures appeared in a flash atop other hills. Two rank.8s, eights, one awakened. Chen Jingzhou muttered, although he was grinning broadly. You bunch of dogs flatter me. With a twirl of the alloy longsword in his hand, he no longer held back. Sharp sword Qi raged as he charged at the blade.wielding man. Sixth elder, we're here to help. The two sky demon cult rank.8s and the awakened who could match rank.8s joined the battle. At first, their intention of coming was to intercept and kill the elite sent to aid Lingzhou City. Still, the plan has changed now. All they needed to do was delay Chen Jingzhou. It would not take long. An hour was all they need, and Pain Star would assuredly conquer Lingzhou City. As for the other elites of Shibei, they would be too far away and unable to send help in time at all. And with Yuzhen's other elites being held back by the Grey Wolf King and its feral followers, how would they have the time to send support? Meanwhile, east side of Jinyantan village. Holding his dragon, slaying Saber, Jiang he was laughing out loud in smugness. 
you people might not know this, but I've already ascended up to rank point six advanced. Wouldn't it be a simple matter to kill a bunch of trash like you? On the other hand, Payne Star did a double take even as she stood over the horned boar. Then, she could not help breaking into laughter. Rank point six advanced. What has gotten into him that a rank point six advanced became as arrogant as he was? Nonetheless, she stopped laughing in the next instant. With a wave of his hand, she cried, kill. At her command, every single zombie suddenly bounded forward and charged towards Jiang He. Even Killer Star, who had been standing behind Pain Star all along strode forward, his power after his zombification now more than a notch above his power in life. In a flash, he had already overtaken the other zombies, and continued dashing towards Jiang He. 200, 100. Standing in the middle of his potato minefield, Jiang He watched as the zombies dashed towards him while keeping an eye on Killer Star. At the same time, he quietly counted the distance in his head. 50. 20. Now. Jiang He promptly clutched his head and dropped to the ground. In that same precise moment, Killer Star had coincidentally stepped on one of the potatoes. As a matter of fact, Jiang He had planted them shallowly. When Killer Star's foot landed, half of the potato poked out. Even so, the zombified Killer Star stopped, it's dead, murky dot gray eyes staring curiously at the potato beneath his feet. Eh. What was that? It's not blowing up. Having been lying face dot down for one entire second but not hearing the explosion he expected, Jiang He couldn't help looking out with the corner of his eye, cursing, what the heck. Are the potato landmines no different from real landmines, and wouldn't blow up if the target doesn't lift his foot? And you're just a zombie, why are you being so smart? And is that actually curiosity in your eyes? Still, that thought was brief. After all, the thick horde of zombies had already reached the minefield. One of the other zombies stepped on one of the potatoes, entering the potato minefield. After that, a second zombie reached it too. And in no time at all, hundreds of zombies had already rushed within the minefield. In the next second, the potatoes that they stepped on all abruptly bloated. As if a volcano was being detonated within. Boom. It blew up. Chapter 94. Give you face. You are listening at novel full dot audio. Translator. Endless Fantasy Translation Editor. Endless Fantasy Translation at the center of the potato minefield was Jiang He, lying face dot down and clutching his head. He subtly looked out with the corner of his eye, and saw that one of the potatoes was expanding rapidly as endless flames surged within. In the next second and with a resounding boom, the potato exploded, followed by a second potato, a third, and a fourth. Boom. 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 The tremendous explosions echoed one after another beside his ears, the fiery radiance that instantly burst out dyeing the night sky bright red. The violent explosions triggered a chain effect as well, and the deafening rumbles seemed to be never dot ending as all fifty potatoes Jiang he buried blew up. Jiang He quickly closed his eyes. The light was blinding. Even if he had the perfect defense of being prone and clutching his head, he could clearly feel the tremors from the potato blast. These potatoes are as powerful as the strengthened pea bombs. Jiang He thought, suddenly feeling heartache. He should have just planted around 20 potatoes if he knew the potato landmines had that much yield, was it not a waste planting 50 in a single breath? Meanwhile, as the shockwave of the explosion surged across every direction like a tide, the zombies that were lunging towards the potato minefield were directly vaporized. Even the ones further away were caught in the shockwave and left in pieces. The potato beneath Killer Star detonated too, and his corpse was directly blown sky high. Holy crap! Further away on top of the horned boar's back, Pain Star had a bad feeling in the split second she saw Jiang He drop down to the ground. And yet, before she could react, the potato minefield had already blown. Back. Back away right now. She squealed. 
Hence, the horned boar beneath her promptly turned and ran. In fact, her warning was unnecessary, both heavenly generals Earthen Diction and Earthen Majesty were already running for their lives as well. Earthen Savage also promptly fled. However, he was merely an awakened. While his superpower meant he was not much weaker than Earthen Diction and Earthen Majesty, he was far lacking when it came to physique. As such, he could feel the violent heat wave streaming towards his back even before he could get 50 meters away. He promptly clenched his teeth and animated his superpower so that his whole body burst into flames, and in the next instant, the fiery light from the minefield explosion drowned him out. Oh, I've really planted too much. Such a shame. Such a waste. By the way, I thought I saw Killer Star's corpse fly. Wonder if it was blown into pieces. Well, if it was, I guess I could only visit his cenotaph next year. Meanwhile, the barrage of potato explosions continued echoing beside his ears. Clutching his head and remaining face down, Jiang he felt very bored as many thoughts crossed his mind. In the end, it took ten whole seconds for the shockwave to fade. With that, Jiang he promptly leaped up from the ground and looked around. Everything that was within a thousand square meters was now vaporized, and he himself was in the middle of a big crater that the explosion formed. That boar night hag and those three sky demon cultists who didn't look too weak were quite far, and definitely would have reacted in time and escaped. Could they have really escaped? That's not good. Jiang he exclaimed inwardly. Carrying his sword, he sneaked into the darkness of the night. At the same time, three kilometers away. Blark. Pain Star abruptly vomited a mouthful of fresh blood even as she sat on the horned boar's back, her face now pale. White. Beside her, both the Earthen Diction Heavenly General and the Earthen Majesty Heavenly General were unscathed. Still, their bodies could not really take being pushed to the limit at a moment's notice, leaving their chi boiling and their blood churning rather unbearably. Still, when Earthen Diction saw Pain Star vomit blood, he quickly went to her, asking, Are you all right, my lady? Pain Star opened her mouth, only to vomit another mouthful of blood. The explosion had been too sudden, the horde of corpses which her power had been imbued into was blown into pieces before she could withdraw, injuring her grievously. Waving him off, Pain Star said feebly, It's fine. It's just a little recoil. Even as she spoke, she clenched her teeth, her eyes at once flashing with murderous hatred and some degree of fear as she glared at the direction of the explosion. Was it worth it? She muttered, as if to herself. Ha! Huh. Beside her, Earthen Diction appeared puzzled. Pain Star continued then, the information we had claimed that Jiang he is only in his twenties, but he already has the power to slay Killer Star. The potential in his future was inestimable, and it's not impossible for him to reach the realm of the divine. Even so, he. Pausing, Pain Star gritted her teeth. He actually had the guts to take us out with him. Indeed, in Pain Star's perspective, Jiang he intends to self-destruct and kill them in the process. He certainly could not be blamed for his confidence in that. In fact, Earth Indiction was about to retort, and he couldn't do so after thinking about it. After all, the explosion just now was utterly frightening. A rank.8 pinnacle martial artist airing S.grade alloy armor would definitely die if they had been at the center of the explosion, without any chance of survival, let alone a mere rank.6 like Jiang He. Even rank.9 martial artists whose defenses were lacking would have been blown to death. And yet. He had a strange feeling. Why did Jiang He do that? The Earth Indiction Heavenly General wondered then. He just had to plant the mines and trigger it when we walked on it. He certainly did not have to show himself. Why would he drop face down at the center of the explosion? Having a hundred questions but no answer, Earth Indiction shook his head, and suddenly exclaimed when he remembered something. Where's Earth and Savage? Did, did he die? He's not dead. Pain Star said confidently. 
Earthen Savage is a fire dot type awakened who could completely convert flames into energy for short periods of time. In that state, he would not be seriously injured even if the magnitude of the explosion exceeds his power. Then, her gaze changed and she seated, let's regroup for a while. After that, we'll continue our plan to take Lingzhou City. But. Both Earthen Diction and Earthen Majesty traded looks and were about to dissuade her when Pain Star coldly said, Relax, my superpower is special. As long as we could pile up a high dot enough body count when we get to Lingzhou City, I could quickly heal and control corpses again, building another army of zombies that don't fear death. Hmm. She turned towards the dark night. Under the moonlight, the earthen savage heavenly general was making his way towards them despite having trouble walking. His body was still smoking. His fire dot type power did nullify most of the shockwave. But the explosion was still powerful that he was hurt considerably. Earthen Majesty, who was on good terms with Earthen Savage was delighted to see him alive, and walked up to him with a smile. Earth. Be that as it may, his face dropped in the instant he uttered that single word. The tip of a sword had suddenly pierced through Earthen Savage's chest. Earthen Savage's face stiffened, but even as he tried to turn his head to look behind him with much difficulty, a large palm held his head and firmly shoved, crack. Earthen Savage dropped rigidly into the dirt. Even as life escaped his body, he never once saw the face of the youth who killed him. No, that's impossible. Pain Star looked as if she had seen a ghost, mumbling, you're a rank point six. How could you be safe in the center of the explosion? Jiang He, brandishing his dragon, slaying Saber and laughing coldly. Everyone, please do not resist, and I just might let you die in one piece. Eh. Jiang He did a double take even as those words left his mouth. Wasn't there something with my tone just now? Why did it feel like I'm a demon lord? I'm clearly the victim here, all right. Nonetheless, composing himself, Jiang He bounded forward, dragon, slaying saber in hand and bellowing in rage, you bunch of psychos really pushed me too far. Why should I give face after you dogs attacked me again and again? Chapter 95 Looking at everyone through rose, tinted glasses you are listening at novel full dot audio. Translator Endless Fantasy Translation Editor Endless Fantasy Translation, Kill Him, Earthen Majesty, Earthen Diction Pain Star cried out shrilly when she saw Jiang He approaching, dragon, slaying saber in hand. Do you believe a mere rank point six martial artist like him is really that powerful? Still, she did not really have to speak, the Earthen Majesty Heavenly General and the Earthen Diction Heavenly General were already combining to intercept Jiang He. They were not being careless with the precedence in the Tranquil Heavenly General, the Earth Demon Heavenly General, and Killer Star. They went all out in their first strike, unleashing true chi as dark mists surrounded their bodies. As one brandished an alloy staff that concealed a thin, long war blade and one swung his alloy sword, radiant blade and sword shadow intertwining and shrouding Jiang He. In response, Jiang He energized his indestructible diamond. As his nine yang true chi burst out, he unleashed two slashes of ninefold thunder blade the instant he raised his hand. Boom. Crack, the thunder slash exploded, breaking through the radiant blade and sword shadow, cutting towards the two rank point seven pinnacle martial artists and forcing them to retreat. Still, Jiang He's face twitched at that. He noticed his shortcoming in their very first exchange. My skills have too little variety. The ninefold thunder blade he had cultivated cut straight ahead and was rather rigid, to the point that the Earthen Majesty Heavenly General and the Earthen Diction Heavenly General easily parried or evaded the slashes that could have maimed them. But I have my advantage too. I might be rank point six, but my true chi is more abundant compared to theirs. They could block one slash, but can they block ten? Jiang he slashed out again, and both the Earthen Majesty Heavenly General and the Earthen Diction Heavenly General appeared excited when they parried another thunder. Slash from Jiang He. His moves might be powerful but there's no variety. 
he can't keep busting out the same moves like this. Die. When Pain Star saw Jiang He's shortcoming as well, she leaped down from the horn boar which rushed at Jiang He like a tank. The pressure mounted on Jiang He at once. He hence swung his saber for a vertical slash, repelling both the Earthen Majesty Heavenly General and the Earthen Diction Heavenly General. After that, he turned into a blur with Blind Princess's eight practices, evading the horned boar's charge. Still, he looked solemn. That pig is rank point eight. Too bad it's been dead for a long time and its flesh is all rotten. Its meat would have lasted me a year otherwise. Then, seeing that both the Earthen Majesty Heavenly General and the Earthen Diction Heavenly General were charging at him again, Jiang He breathed a long sigh and quietly muttered, Looks like I have to go all dot out. Boom. His aura increased by several notches while the silhouette of two great suns rose behind him. It was a sign that he had cultivated up to tier 2 in strengthened Nine Yang technique. Aside from the suns, there was deafening dragon roars and elephant trumpeting, and in just a few moments, silhouettes of a divine dragon and a divine elephant appeared, and began running in circles around the suns. Hence, Jiang He attacked once more. Boom. Crack, his 10. Meter thunder. Slash burst out, cutting towards Earthen Majesty Heavenly General, who was closest to him. What the hell? Earthen Majesty Heavenly General was fighting at full power, but his face fell when he saw the thunder. Slash. Holding up his sword to parry it, a loud clang echoed before he was sent flying. Even up in the air, he was vomiting blood violently. Seizing the moment, Jiang He took out a pepper and stuffed it down his throat, even as he brought his blade to bear against the horned boar. Once the pepper was in his mouth, his aura overflowed by several notches. Pain Star, who was standing in the distance looked utterly bewildered. Still, despite being unsure what was going on with Jiang He, she kept crying out, kill him. He only used some trick, it won't last. After that. Blark. She then saw that the Earthen Diction Heavenly General sent flying whilst puking blood as well. Jiang He, laughing, cut down at him again, and Earthen Diction had to hold up his sword to parry again. Clang. As metals clashed, the S. Grade alloy longsword Earthen Diction had been wielding was knocked out of his hands, Jiang He had cut into his hand between his thumb and his forefinger, and most importantly, the thunder element had paralyzed his body making every strand of hair stand upright. No, even as Earthen Diction cried out in despair, Jiang He's third slash had arrived, cutting him in two. Rumble. In that instant, the horned boar had already reached Jiang He's back. Jiang He swung his sword with a backhand swing, but a vein of dark air shot out of its jet. Black horn of the boar, breaking Jiang He's slash, just as its body that was the size of a bus slammed heavily into Jiang He. Crap. Jiang He cursed inwardly. Though he was still an initiate in indestructible diamond and being knocked like that would not be a problem, he still felt it. Nonetheless, he could not help looking pleased when he realized that he was sent flying in the Earthen Majesty Heavenly General's direction. Even as horror and despair showed on Earthen Majesty's face, Jiang He turned and smiled, asking, Were you surprised? Was this unexpected? Stab. Running his blade through the Earthen Majesty Heavenly General and killing him, Jiang He landed and started to brawl with the horned boar. Damn it! This thing's skin is too thick and too tough. And since it's a corpse in the first place, normal injuries wouldn't work at all. He was unable to cut the horned boar down despite several consecutive slashes, and perhaps because of the pepper's side effects, Jiang He couldn't help becoming a little frustrated. What was worse? he actually found the horned boar attractive. Meanwhile, Pain Star, who had been scared out of her wits, promptly turned and fled. However, she was already suffering from recoil, and being an awakened with a worse physique than a rank point five martial artist, how could she be any quicker? Hence, even before she could run over 500 meters, she suddenly turned to find Jiang He giving chase like a phantom, saber in hand. He was more than twice quicker than she was, and so Pain Star had to grit her teeth, use her powers and steer the horned boar to pursue Jiang He. 
Nonetheless, the horned boar was quite slow for a rank point eight feral. It remained far behind Jiang He, who widened the gap between them even as he closed in on Pain Star. Knowing that she was not getting away, Pain Star resolved herself and stopped. Dot but as she abruptly turned around, she tore off her spandex with a single move and called out in her coquettish lowly voice, Mercy, young hero. If you spare me, I'm willing to be your slave. Gak. She felt a pain in her belly even before she finished, Jiang He had cut his saber through her body. As Pain Star looked down at the blade that pierced her body with much difficulty, and then looked up. Why wasn't this person playing his cards like a normal person? Under these circumstances, shouldn't you stop, say something ruthless before you do this? Her horned boar would have caught up in that brief window, and she would make it self-destruct with her control over it, maiming Jiang He even if she could not kill him. Now, her life force was rapidly fading. A venomous look appeared on Pain Star's face then, and she cried, You'll never kill me, Jiang He. One day, the saint would revive me from the river of time. You talk a lot. Jiang He pulled out his sword and stabbed Pain Star again, directly killing her. Only then did he breathe a long sigh and mutter, Looks like I would have to eat the pepper only when the time is right. Otherwise, I'll be looking at everyone through rose-tinted glasses, like how I almost got seduced by this old bag. Jiang He patted his chest, appearing relieved. Thankfully, he was decisive enough to stab her to death, and did not give her the chance to flirt. Chapter 96 You're quite a good shot you are listening at novel full.audio. Translator Endless Fantasy Translation Editor Endless Fantasy Translation Boom The earth shook. The horned boar collapsed resounding into the dirt halfway through its charge, its massive body sliding over dozens of meters through inertia before it stopped. It was a corpse under the control of Pain Star's powers in the first place. Now that she was dead, the horned boar reverted to an actual corpse. Well, even if its flesh had rotten and inedible, a rank point eight feral corpse could still be sold to Mu Wanxiu for a good price. Jiang He then picked up one of the alloy longswords nearby. It belonged to the Earthen Diction Heavenly General, and the entire weapon was forged from an S.grade alloy. S.grade sword. It would sell for millions, I think. At that thought, Jiang He picked up the Earthen Majesty Heavenly General's weapon as well. It had a long but narrow war blade that resembled a sword of the Tang Dynasty in style, although it was much thinner. It's an S.grade alloy weapon too, but this would cheaper than the sword since it would need less materials. I'm guessing it's worth around 20 million. Jiang He quietly appraised the price, before realizing in delight that the sheath of the war blade as well, which was a fashioned into a staff was made out of pure S.grade alloys too. These two weapons could sell for a good portion of a hundred million, making my hard work for the night worth it. After that, Jiang He found the two heavenly generals' fiend decrees. One was inscribed with Diction and the other Th Majesty, which in turn identified them as the Earthen Diction Heavenly General and the Earthen Majesty Heavenly General. After that, he searched the fire. Type awakened he had stabbed dead first, only to find a few thousand dollars and one fiend decree. So damned poor. Jiang he couldn't help complaining. Then, he also felt around Pain Star's corpse a bit, muttering as he did so, is this really a woman? She's flatter than I am, and she would put on smoky makeup even though she's already in her thirties. No one in our village would marry her type. Pain Star. Jiang he found her decan decree then. And while he touched the bodies, Cheng Dongfeng had led a fully dot armed weapons company, rushing to Jinyintan village form Lingzhou city. Still, they were all stunned by the violent explosions. An armored Cheng Dongfeng promptly leaped out of his vehicle and looked out in the direction of the rumbling, and when he found half of the night sky lit up by the fiery radiance, he couldn't help muttering, there it is. Again. Is that kid a walking bag of dynamites? He actually missed Pudgy Jiang right then. If Pudgy Jiang was here now, 
an explosives expert like him would have been able to identify the type of bomb from the sound and the scene of the explosion. Still, when he remembered Pudgy Jiang, Cheng Dongfeng couldn't help thinking, by the way, didn't Pudgy Jiang say he would do handstands and eat poo if it wasn't a fuel.air explosive? Did he really do it? Wait, why the hell am I thinking about that? Returning inside his vehicle, Cheng Dongfeng barked, floor it. Hence, the military trucks that were carrying a fully dot armed weapons company, armaments, and munitions drive bounded towards ground zero. And within minutes, whoa! One of the soldiers gasped, and was soon echoed by the others. Chen Dongfeng's eyes widened when he got off his vehicle and stared at the crater that was over 800 meters wide and 4 meters deep, unable to decide what he should be saying at once. How many tons of dynamite were detonated here? Then, a soldier ran towards him, saluted and yelled on top of his voice, report. We've checked, the hundreds of human and feral corpses we found on the scene should be the ones that vanished before. Ching Dongfeng's gaze shifted then and pressed, what about Jiang He? Who goes there? Another soldier barked then. Stop. Bang dot bang dot bang, he then fired several shots into the distance. Stop firing. Jiang He's voice could be heard from afar, and he was cursing rather angrily. Do you shoot at your allies? That startled me. He could be seen carrying a bus dot sized horned boar as he stepped out into the moonlight, before he threw it casually. Boom, the massive corpse smashed into the ground, leaving the ground quaking and rumbling. Spreading his left hand, Jiang He then put four yellow bullets into the palm of the gaping soldier. He was about to scold him, but when he saw the soldier's leg shaking, he ended up only clapping him on the shoulder and calming him, don't get so nervous. It's just a bigger boar, it can't be deader. The soldier was even more nervous at that, and Jiang he could only try to make light of the situation. You're quite a good shot, each bullet you fired was heading straight to my head. You would have disfigured me if I didn't catch the bullets with my lightning reflex. The soldier. Dot. Are you alright, Jiang He? Ching Dongfeng strode towards him and studied him from head to toe, and only breathed a sigh of relief when he saw that Jiang He was mostly fine. He then turned to look at the massive horned boar lying on the ground, and surprise appeared over his face. Is. Is that a rank point eight feral? Although the horned boar was a corpse, Ching Dongfeng could still feel a faint pressure. And if that happened to a rank point seven grandmaster like him, how would the soldiers fare? That was why the soldier appeared so nervous. Even in death, the presence of rank point eight ferals alone prompted fear. Ching Dongfeng withdrew his gaze after a while. Bowing at Jiang He and offering him a fist.palm salute, he said solemnly, Master Jiang, though a rank point five you may be, you have slain the tranquil heavenly general, the earth demon heavenly general, killer star and now, a rank. Eight feral. I truly defer to your might. Jiang He, rather chagrined from the praise, quickly waved him off. You're exaggerating, Grandmaster Cheng. I didn't actually kill the horned boar, and I'm already ranked point six. Eh. Ching Dongfeng did a double take and exclaimed in shock. You didn't. Yup. Jiang He answered truthfully. The rank point eight beast was long dead, although it was under Pain Star's control, like the other zombies and Killer Star. So I didn't kill it. Pain Star, Envy. Noting Ching Dongfeng's shock, Jiang He felt through his pockets, took out a token plate and handed it to Ching Dongfeng. That's right, Pain Star. Eh. I got the wrong one. This is the Earthen Majesty Heavenly General's Fiend Decree. Hence, he took out all four token plates he had recovered and started picking through them. This belonged to Earthen Diction, and this belonged to Earthen Savage. This one. Look. It's a Decan decree, with the word Decan and Pain inscribed on it. It represents Pain Star, right? Ching Dongfeng's eyelid twitched. Even though he had a hunch about everything, he couldn't help asking, where? Did you get those token plates? 
meanwhile, 200 miles away from Lingzhou City. Chen Jingzhou, wearing his military standard and wielding his alloy longsword had beaten the sixth elder of the Sky Demon Cult and his three backup grands on every turn. But even though he was not caught in the heat of the battle, he would be encircled whenever he tried to pull away and flee. Worse, his opponents would run away whenever he was about to deal a killing blow. Hence, sweating from his brow, Chen Jingzhou clenched his jaw. It's been so long. Could Lingzhou City have fallen already? His aura suddenly overflowed wildly from his body. The sword will of the alloy longsword in his hand hence raged, sweeping away several of his opponents, but when he was about to blaze his true chi for another killing blow, the sixth elder of the sky demon cult broke out in wild laughter and promptly retreated. In the blink of an eye, his opponents had made a clean escape, leaving a smug laughter ringing through the night air. I've underestimated you, Chen Jingzhou. Even so, delaying you for half an hour is enough, considering the timing, I'd say Lingzhou City would have fallen by now. So what if you could make it there now? Shouldn't we be sitting down, and start discussing annexing the city to our control instead? Damn it! Chen Jingzhou cursed, but he did not pursue the voice, and instead sprinted in the direction of Lingzhou City. He is a rank.8 martial artist, and even if he was not adept at speed, he approached the sound barrier as he burst out in full strength. On top of a mountain, one of the grands watched Chen Jingzhou as he ran and frowned. Sixth Elder, he asked, should we be letting Chen Jingzhou go just like that? If we could keep holding him. Blark. Even before the grand finished, the blade.wielding middle.aged man, Sixth Elder vomited a mouthful of blood. Sixth Elder. Six. Sixth Elder waved the others off, seething, it's all right. Chen Jingzhou has simply injured my pulse with his sword will, but I could use that to refine my martial will. In fact, it would be an opportunity for me to develop my blade will as well. His tone changed then, and he laughed with a face brimming with joy. This is already enough even if we couldn't kill Chen Jingzhou. Pain Star would have taken Lingzhou City by now, and that alone would be a major feat hurry, help me contact Pain Star. Chapter 97 A Furious Chen Jingzhou You Are Listening at Novel Full Audio Translator Endless Fantasy Translation Editor Endless Fantasy Translation Sixth Elder was grinning from ear to ear. He had achieved a major victory in spite of his failure to kill Chen Jingzhou, and had even gained some understanding towards Blade Will. Moreover, Pain Star's successful assault over Lingzhou City would be a tremendous feat beside him, Brave Star, one of the 30.6 Deccans had whipped out a satellite phone, and had found Pain Star's number from his booklet, and dialed it hopefully. Even before the call got through, he put it on loudspeaker, holding it up with both hands in front of Sixth Elder. Sorry, the number you have dialed cannot be reached at the moment. Sorry. Brave Star's expression changed, but he forced a smile, saying, Patience, Sixth Elder, perhaps Pain Star might be busy at the moment. I'll call Earth and Majesty and the others instead. With that, he dialed the number of the Earth and Majesty Heavenly General. Sorry. Brave Star's smile stiffened when he heard the machine voice once again, and that continued even after he dialed Earthen Diction and Earthen Savage's numbers. Meanwhile, there was now a dark look on Sixth Elder's face. Clenching his teeth, he growled, Call the other groups. Right now. They were unaware that the Pain Star and her escort satellite phones were crushed by Jiang He when he had found them on their bodies. There was no point in keeping those toys anyway. The martial arts department, MAD, would not find out anything with the encryption and self.destructive sequence installed into the phone, and it would be better to just destroy them straight away. Jinyantan Village Dot on the east side of the village, Ching Dongfeng was drawing deep breaths and had finally calmed down. Still, he was very curious and could not help asking, Jiang He, you've killed three more fiends and another Dakan. As a rank.5. I mean, a rank point six, how did you do that? How? 
Jiang He mused to himself for seconds to organize his thoughts, before saying, Pain Star is merely an awakened. Sure, her power was special and she could control dead bodies so that they fought for her, but there I was, in my farm, planting my potatoes when I remembered that the Sky Demon Cult would attack me. That's why I attacked first. And the rest is history, Grandmaster Cheng. Jiang He said, pointing at the carnage of the explosions. I've blown up most of the zombies that Pain Star was controlling, frightening her off and the three fiends with her, and they weren't slowpokes. It took me great effort to catch up and cut them all down. Even as he spoke, he seemed to remember something else and asked, By the way, have you guys found Killer Star's corpse? I vaguely saw him being used as a zombie in blown sky. High, although I didn't know if he was blown into pieces. Hence, Jiang He started a search, with a group of soldiers helping him. Eventually, they did find Killer Star five minutes later, or the half of his body that was left, 300 meters away from the left side of the explosion, at a cornfield destroyed by the shockwave from the explosion. Jiang He hence went home, got a piece of white cloth and wrapped it around Killer Star's mangled corpse, and said with a yawn, I hadn't been sleeping well recently because of the Sky Demon Cult. Grandmaster Cheng, you could just hand off the Fiend Decrees and the Deccan Decree to Old Duan, and have him record the merit points under my name. And help me contact Mu Wanxiu about the Horned Boar Corpse, see if she's interested. Okay, now I'll go home and sleep. Hence, Jiang He picked up Killer Star's dead body and walked home carefully, leaving behind a gaping Qing Dongfang. Bro. Is there something wrong with you? How could you sleep after you caused such a scene? And, even if you could fall asleep, there is no telling how many people would not be sleeping because of you. Nonetheless, Ching Dongfeng instructed the many soldiers to clean up the battlefield, and only then did he remember he forgot to ask where the corpses of Pain Star and her fiends were. Whipping out his phone, he dialed Duan Tianhe's number. Duan Tianhe was himself sitting in his office at the mad with a somber look on his face. He promptly answered Ching Donfeng's call when he saw his caller ID, asking, Old Ching, what's the situation? There were explosions just now. Ching Dongfeng reported the outcome of the battle to him. Thud. Duan Tianhe's phone fell straight to the floor. With a frozen look on his face, he sat down stiffly and only recovered after a long time, yelling, Someone prepare a car. I'm going to Jinyintan village. With Pain Star and the Heavenly General's Earthen Savage, Earthen Majesty Earthen Diction all killed, no small fry was going to invade Lingzhou City. Nonetheless, after Duan Tianhe had gotten ready and stepped out of the mad, his MPV had driven for just around 20 meters when there was a loud bang, a figure had streaked towards the vehicle, landing directly on the hood of the MPV. That tremendous force kicked the entire vehicle into the air, reducing the hood and the front half of the car to scrap metals. Bang! The MPV landed then. Duan Tianhe promptly leaned aside and rolled outside, sending one car door flying in the process. But he had barely left the car when he felt his body become light, because his entire body had been lifted by a large hand. More horrifyingly, Duan Tianhe could feel an abundant wave of true qi was directly restraining himself. Duan Tianhe, did you bloody spread military disinformation? A voice with a Shibei accent spoke beside his ear. Duan Tianhe realized what was happening then, and when he clearly saw who it was, he quickly exclaimed, Commander Chen. The man was indeed Chen Jingzhou, in his military uniform and having his alloy longsword slung over his back. Still, he was left very ragged at the moment after the serious battle he just fought. His uniform was almost in pieces no thanks to slices by Sword Qi, and his face had dirt all over it since one of his opponents was an Earth-type awakened who could match a rank.8 martial artist. Moreover, he had dashed all the way here afterwards, covering a 200-mile distance to reach Lingzhou City. He did not once stop through his wild dash and had almost drained all of his true Qi in his fear that Lingzhou City had fallen with countless casualties. But when he reached it, he found that there was nothing wrong with the city. When he dialed Duan Tianhe's number, 
he found that Duan Tianhe was on a joyride to who dot knows where, twiddling his thumbs. And now, Chen Jingzhou glared at the man himself, pelting him with a bellow, Duan Tianhe, did you know that your misinformation almost got me cut down by the sixth elder and three decans of the Sky Demon Cult? Do you know that you would be court-marshaled for your misinformation? Duan Tianhe rose to his feet, between laughter and tears. Commander Chen, I really wasn't spreading disinformation. Utterly irritated, Chen Jiangzhou kicked Duan Tianhe down to the ground, pointed a finger at his nose and barked, you're still being stubborn even now. Didn't you tell us that Lingzhou City is facing a dire threat, that Sky Demon cult elites might be invading? Where are those elites? Tell me, where are the Sky Demon cult elites? To tell the truth, Commander Chen, Duan Tianhe replied, the Sky Demon cult had deployed two rank point eight grands and three heavenly generals, although they're all dead now. Ha! Chen Jingzhou snorted. Two rank point eight grands. Three heavenly generals. All dead. And what, did you kill them all, Duan Tianhe? Chapter 98 Do you take me for a fool? You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Translator Endless Fantasy Translation Editor Endless Fantasy Translation Why does it seem like Commander Chen does not believe me? Even so, Duan Tianhe did no complain too much. In fact, he would not blame Chen Jingzhou, his reaction would probably be the same even if he was in Chen Jingzhou's shoes. Hence, he had to brace himself and explain, Commander Chen, I'm sure you are aware of the incidents revolving around the Tranquil Heavenly General and the Earth Demon Heavenly General. Chen Jingzhou nodded, but soon glared and barked, what does your disinformation have to do with them? From what I know, those two unlucky bastards were killed by one of the rank .5s in your city. Or are you telling me that rank point five also managed to kill two grands and three more fiends? Do you take me for a fool, Duan Tianhe? Dot. Between laughter and tears, Duan Tianhe simply said, it might be hard to believe, Commander Chen. But that is indeed the information I'm aware of. Hence, twenty minutes later. What the hell? Having traveled to Jinyintan village with Duan Tianhe, Chen Jingzhou blanked out when he saw the Dekan decrees and fiend decrees he held between his fingers, and could not resist mouthing a few expletives. He then took a look at the crater at the potato landmines had blown into the ground, and walked one circle around the horned boar's corpse. It was only then did he ask, is Jiang he really rank point five? He's rank point six now. Rank point six, rank point five. What's the difference? Chen Jingzhou remained rather doubtful despite all that inside. In the realm of martial arts, a rank point six who turned the tables against rank point seven grandmasters would be considered a legend. But who would believe that a rank point six could cut down a rank point eight? Grandmaster Cheng, where did Jiang he kill Pain Star and her three decans? The final scene of their battle is less than four kilometers from here, Cheng Dongfang answered. I've checked, Jiang he must have detonated his bomb here, scaring off Pain Star and her three decans. After that, he pursued them all the way there, and killed them when he managed to catch up. As a rank point nine senior grandmaster and a top champion who had gained understanding over sword will, Chen Jingzhou's vision far surpassed a newly ascended grandmaster like Qing Dongfang. He could come up with many theories with just tiny traces or clues. After he arrived on the scene to have a look at the sword marks and blood trails, he said, the fight didn't last long. There was a huge gap in ability between the combatants, and it was basically a one-dot sided fight. Jiang he must have learned an extremely powerful thunder swordplay, look, thunder energy is still lingering over that split tree. Chen Jingzhou himself was caught in disbelief even as he said those words. A huge gap in ability. A rank point six, up against three sky demon cult heavenly generals and one grand, would actually have such an overwhelming advantage. If anyone else had said that, Chen Jingzhou's palm would be greeting his cheeks. But such was reality. After a long silence, he suddenly chuckled and said, 
if us old dot timers had really been outdone by a youth. Where is Jiang He? I'm a little anxious to meet him now. Beside them, Ching Dongfeng said quietly, he told me he had serious insomnia because of the Sky Demon Cult, and went home to sleep. Chen Jingzhou did a double take, but soon broke into hearty laughter. He did not have to worry about the rest, then. After they returned to the martial arts department of Lingzhou City, Chen Jingzhou first gave Yuzhen a call before reading up on Jiang He's information. A martial dot art style passed down in his family. Rapid cultivation and awakened beast. Taming powers. Noted to have sold a species of corn that increases bust size, suspected to be a mystically evolved crop following the revival of Qi. Chen Jingzhou gaze changed then. Following the revival of Qi, it had not merely been humans or beasts who evolved. Many plants had developed to a certain extent as well, and lush hills that spread yellow dirt whenever a gust kicked up had now grown into lush forests, and there were many floral spirits discovered across the control. And certain unique floral spirits certainly improved the strength of select individuals by leaps and bounds within a short time. The kid must have some extraordinary luck to gain some floral spirit, thereby cultivating from rank 0.3 to rank 0.6 advanced in a single breath. Chen Jingzhou thought, and could not help remembering that the special corn that mentioned in the data Duan Tianha had provided him. Enhancing breast growth. I was skinny when I was younger, and though my figure is more well-rounded after my martial arts cultivation, I can't really develop my pecs. I wonder if that corn would work for me. But selling it at 500,000 per stock. Who would buy that for their breasts? Even as Chen Jingzhou continued reading about Jiang He, someone knocked on the door. Soon, Mu Wanxiu stormed in, exclaiming, Why didn't you tell me that you were coming, Uncle Chen? Little Chiu. Chen Jingzhou studied Mu Wanxiu from head to toe then, he almost did not recognize her. Mu Wanxiu's old man was military and a martial arts elite as well, and happens to be a longtime acquaintance of Chen Jingzhou's, whom he was on good terms with. It was also why Chen Jingzhou had met Mu Wanxiu many times. She even visited him at the militarized zone before coming to Lingzhou City. But. The little lady was utterly flat before and had no chest to speak of. So how did her breasts become so perky now? Still, Chen Jingzhou was too embarrassed to ask since he was an elder and smiled instead. Why else? There's a situation here at Lingzhou City and the brat Duan Tianhe called for help. I was in Yuzhen and therefore not too far away, which is why I hurried here for a look. But it's already two in the morning, little Chiu. Why aren't you in bed? Mu Wanxiu certainly wouldn't be sleeping. How could she after she learned that Jiang he had got his hands on the corpse of a rank point eight feral? After a long chat, Chen Jingzhou suddenly asked, By the way, little Chiu, are you acquainted with Jiang He? Jiang He was unaware what happened out there after he returned home. He dug a hole in his yard and buried everyone, Pain Star, Killer Star, Earth and Majesty Heavenly, and the others underneath. It was worth noting here that he had already flattened that other grave in his yard. After the grave grass sprouted, Jiang He exhumed the grave, only to find that the body of Three Waters Way was gone. Still, it had not simply disappeared, but had instead been converted into fertilizer and fused into the farm itself, and Jiang he had a hunch that his essence must have transformed into the grave grass. That was why Dumbo and Trumbo would gain water-type powers after they ate the grass. And now, he buried these bodies to test if those grave grass would sprout again, or grow a person. Still, even the weakest of the corpses was an A-dot class awakened. I wondered if anything would grow from them. As that thought crossed Jiang He's mind, he stretched his body lazily and took out his sports car from his system backpack, scowling as he climbed inside to sleep. When would the mansion actually be completed? Sleeping in the car is nice, but that's only if it's for a few days. It's going to be miserable if I have to sleep here over a long time. Oh, right. If I could plant a car, then what about a house? Chapter 99 Can I plant a missile launcher? 
You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Translator. Endless Fantasy Translation Editor. Endless Fantasy Translation Jiang he whipped out his phone and swiped through the news. Everything on the internet was articles concerning the revival of Qi lately. That included what country was attacked by ferals, the rise of certain powerful awakened who slew the ferals and rescued thousands. Jiang he soon fell asleep after browsing through the news for a while. He then woke up naturally. After climbing out of his sports car to wash up, Jiang he checked the time. It was still 11 in the morning but he still lacked a lot of sleep. He cooked some rice, sliced out a piece of python meat, made a cucumber coleslaw mixed with shredded carrots, and fried an eggplant for lunch, but Jiang he still found his meal boring. This meal is at least worth 10 million bucks, but it just doesn't taste nice. As he devoured every last dish, Jiang he rubbed his temples and considered the root of the problem. First. He was getting bored of eating this stuff every day. Secondly, and most importantly. The sky demon cult is to blame. They latch onto me like a leech that I can't shake off no matter what. Even if I killed two of their decans and five of their fiends, who would know whether they would cause more trouble for me. Those animals are keeping me from getting a good night's sleep or even a good meal. Jiang he clenched his teeth. He scowled again when he looked at the bowl and chopsticks on his table. Having no maid to clean up after him was really unbearable. Now that his lifestyle had improved, he certainly couldn't keep cleaning up after himself, could he? He could avoid washing his clothes by changing from set to set, but he certainly can't change his kitchen utensils after one use, could he? He then studied his kitchen, and realized that it was even cruder now. There were just a few tables in the newly built mansion, upon which stoves were put simply. I should spare some time to contact Wang Cixin and see how long the furnishings would take. If push comes to shove, I could just slap off the whole mansion and plant another. Even as Jiang he planned for his future, there was a blaring of car horns. He stepped out of his yard to find three vehicles parked in a queue outside his gates. The first was a white CRV, the second was something with military plates and the third was an off-dot-road vehicle, which Jiang he recognized as belonging to Mu Wanxiu. Jiang he. A chuckle was audible right then. Duan Tianhe stepped out of the white CRV and came to Jiang He, smiling, thanks for last night, Jiang He. I've already credited merit points under your name, and also requested clearance from HQ for you now that Warrior Home is in its closed testing phase. You can log into the forum with your ID number, I'll send you the web address later. Jiang He smiled in return, but then glanced at Duan Tianhe's vehicle and asked, Did you change cars, Chief Duan? I remember you used to drive a black MPV. The corners of Duan Tianhe's mouth twitched. How could he not change cars? After all, the black MPV was totaled. With a single kick, Chen Jingzhou had almost crushed it. That was when both the man himself and Qing Dongfeng got off the military vehicle. Mu Wanxiu also alighted from her off-dot-road vehicle then, and Wu Yueru was accompanying her in her usual office lady fashion. Ha, huh, Jiang He. Chen Jingzhou laughed with his loud pitch the moment he spoke. Your reputation precedes you, but now that I've met you, I could really tell that you have the measure of a young hero and the look of a prodigy. Duan Tianhe quickly made the introductions. Jiang He, this is Chen Jingzhou, leader of the 3rd Shibei Field Operations Division. He's also a rank. Nine senior grandmaster who had come specially to reinforce Lingzhou City. Jiang He walked up to shake hands with Chen Jingzhou and greeted both Mu Wanxiu and Wu Yueru, before saying, My house was just finished in a little plain. If everyone wouldn't mind, please come in. There were quite a lot of stools in the house, and everyone took a seat after Jiang He brought them out. Chen Jingzhou cut straight to the point then, saying, Jiang He, I have heard much about you from Chief Duan. You may be rank point six, but you selflessly put yourself on the line to defeat the elites of the Sky Demon Cult and protected Lingzhou City and its hundred thousand of citizens. 
That is a grand accomplishment and I've already requested commendations from the military. Jiang He promptly waved him off at the mention of commendation. You're being too kind, Chief Chen. I wasn't really thinking that much at the time, and my main beef was that the Sky Demon cult was being persistent in their efforts to take me down, denying me any peace. That's why I fought back. Chen Jingzhou, who understood that well nodded. The Sky Demon cultists definitely deserve death. They sent a rank.9 elder, two rank.8 grandmasters and an earth.type awaken who was equal to rank.8s, just to intercept and kill me before I could reach Lingzhou to help. If you hadn't come forward in such a vital moment, Jiang He, Lingzhou City would have fallen. Jiang He's eyes lit up then and he quickly asked, the Sky Demon Cult actually sent a rank.9, two rank.8s, and an earth.type. That's right, Chen Jingzhou nodded, although he looked weirded out. Why does it feel like there is something wrong with this kid's expressions and tone of speech? Shouldn't you be panicking and worried after hearing such information? Meanwhile, Jiang He mused to himself for a moment rather awkwardly, and after stuttering for a bit, he asked, Well, Commander Chen, may I ask a question? Just ask away. Chen Jingzhou waved his large hand welcomingly. Jiang He gritted his teeth. Commander, I wonder. How powerful is that rank.9 Sky Demon Cult Elder? And how do I kill a rank.9 martial artist? Chen Jingzhou's face stiffened. Unable to react in time, his native dialect spilled out, with did ye say? Beside them, Duan Tianhe's face dropped and he couldn't help exclaiming, Jiang He, don't even think about it. Rank.9 champions are as brutally powerful as they were formidable in spirit, and they are capable of fusing martial arts into the will of their martial arts. The best of them could even control the power of concepts, and their every single move would embody the power of the world. Even if you had demonstrated that you are able to kill both Pain Star and Killer Star, death only awaits you in a battle against a rank.9. Duan Tianhe understood Jiang He all too well, the only reason that Brat asked that was because he wants to kill a rank.9 Sky Demon Cultist. In return, surprise was written all over Jiang He's face and he muttered, Are rank.9s that formidable? Looks like I definitely wouldn't win. There was vague disappointment in his tone. Later, after a few more exchanges, Chen Jingzhou rose to his feet, saying, Well, there's much work waiting back at base, so I won't bother you for now. Jiang He, your commendation would soon be granted, so I'll see you again soon when I personally award it to you. You're too kind, Commander Chen. Jiang He was about to decline his reward courteously, but withdrew his words as an idea struck him, and said, Commander Chen. If the military is really keen on awarding me a commendation, could I request for something like weapons or explosives? After all, Dumbo and Trumbo, who were supposed to watch his house had not really developed. Jiang he was a little worried about having them guard the yard. However, the military could provide weapons and munitions with more firepower, such as rocket launchers and Gatling guns. Who knows? When he gets his hands on some and strengthen them with his mysterious soil, there might be surprises in store. Jiang he could even see it. Dumbo, carrying a rocket launcher and firing it. And how much more devastating could the firepower a planted rocket launcher be? Hmm. I wonder if rocket launcher or missile launchers could be planted, though. Chapter 100 Blended Chi Pellets You Are Listening at Novel Full. Audio. Translator. Endless Fantasy Translation Editor. Endless Fantasy Translation At the mention of weapons and munition, Chen Jingzhou could not help remembering the giant crater at the east side of the village, which prompted him to ask about it. Jiang He smiled in return, It's just a little something I cooked up myself. It doesn't violate any laws, does it, Commander Chen? It did for sure. But had the times not changed now? Even if it made such a gigantic crater? After that, Jiang He made his request, asking for however much stuff he could. Chen Jingzhou noted down everything and climbed back into his military vehicle. Duan Tianhe saw him off, 
before turning to Jiang He, there's a bunch of things to do at the martial arts department, mad, so I won't bother you anymore. I've already sent the address of Warrior Home to your WeChat, and you could give me a call if you have anything you don't understand. You've stopped the Sky Demon Cult's conspiracies multiple times, killing two of their Deccans and five of their fiends on different occasions. Those are enormous accomplishments, and by coincidence, headquarters have been drafting different chapters of rewards. Duan Tianha smiled then. Cultivation manual, secret texts, weapons, and qi pellets, what do you need? I could help put in a good word for you. Jiang he considered that seriously. He did not really have any use for those stuff. Still, the fierce resistance he could put up because he could not bear with the Sky Demon Cult's bullying had unwittingly helped the mad considerably, and so he quickly said, Can I choose the rewards for myself, Chief Duan? If I'm allowed to, please ask the higher.ups to wait a few days until I could decide. All right. Duan Tianha laughed heartily. There are some introductions about many treasures on Warrior Home. You could decide after taking a look. Soon, he left in his new car with Ching Dongfeng. After that, the only one left was Jiang He, Mu Wanxiu, and her assistant Wu Yueru. Those two women were a sight for sore eyes, whenever they stood together. Mu Wanxiu, a fire-dot-type awakened boasted a stunning figure and a steamy presence. Wu Yueru, however, was different. Dressed in her office lady attire, there was some extent of primness in her sexiness, as well as a sense of maturity. Compared to burly men like Duan Tianhe and Qin Dongfeng, Jiang He was more willing to chat with these two beauties. Once they returned inside his house, they began to chat idly away. And it was obvious that Wu Yueru was quite curious about Jiang He. She asked every question possible, until Jiang He himself was rather speechless. What the heck? Age, height, and zodiac are fine, but she's actually asking if I had any girlfriends and whether I'm single. What does that have to do with you? Jiang He was even suspecting that his system might have some hidden attribute like plus 999 charisma. Why else would every woman want to get their hands on him? That's right. That has to be it. Surely it's not because I'm good looking, right? It's not like having good luck would let me have anything I like. Beside them, Mu Wanxiu really could not keep listening to their conversation. She bore a deep grudge towards Jiang He since each of her previous conversations with him had ended unpleasantly. Muttering, Mu Wanxiu suddenly smiled, Jiang He, you might not know this, but Yu Eru and I are here mainly to thank you personally. Thank me. Jiang He was a little uncertain. What was there to thank him for? At the same time, Wu Yueru flushed, which Jiang He noted with the corner of his eye. She reached out and pinched Mu Wanxiu, who chuckled, you might not be able to tell, but Yu Eru was quite skinny before, and she only got her figure now thanks to your crop. Jiang He was left speechless even as he understood. Seeing that Wu Yueru's cheeks flushed even harder, Jiang He added with a smile, that's actually unnecessary. Since doctors could be as caring as parents, you women could just visit the doctor. Beside them, Mu Wanxiu was shaking with laughter. Still, after pausing for a moment and changing his tone, Jiang He smiled, look, didn't she regain her confidence because of my help too? Mu Wanxiu scowled immediately, and a flame sparked over her head. Jiang He extinguished it with a gentle blow, before saying with a straight face, don't play with fire, Miss Mu. You'll burn yourself. You. Flustered, Mu Wanxiu could not say anything for a while. Burn herself with fire. Was that a threat? Jiang He, on the other hand, was smiling faintly. What could Mu Wanxiu hope to achieve with that flame over her head? Frighten him. Now that he has gained initiate proficiency over indestructible diamond, Second tier mastery over strengthened nine yang technique as well as dragon elephant prajna, could you even burn off a single strand of my hair, even if I let you burn me without lifting a finger? Of course, that was not actually necessary. Mu Wanxiu had a temper, but whenever she faced Jiang He, she really could not throw a fit sometimes. 
And now, it was Wu Yueru's turn to shake with laughter. Compared to others, these women's giggles were quite interesting and enjoyable. Clenching her teeth and throwing a fierce glare at Wu Yueru, Mu Wanxiu took a deep breath before saying, Jiang He, I've moved the corpses of the horned boar and the other ferals back to our facility last night. With that, she whipped out her phone to send Jiang He an inventory. Most of them were blown into pieces however, which is why they were priced quite low. Please check. Jiang He read through the inventory and the total value. At around 10 million bucks, it was not actually much, it was around the price of his breakfast. Perhaps even less. After all, his large eggplants that could ease swells, stop bleeding, and connect broken bones were worth more than 10 million. That being said, money was just a number to Jiang He, and a dozen million dollars was no different from a thousand dollars. Can I exchange the money for cultivation supplies? I'm thinking about developing my pets. By the way, I won't be needing more chi pellets. It seems that one could develop resistance against chi pellets if they had one too many. Dumbo had barely reached rank for even though it was eating a big bowl's worth of them, just as Trumbo did not improve much two days after rising to rank point five novice. Dot. Mu Wanxiu could not react immediately, whereas Wu Yueru's red lips were slightly parted in surprise. Not only was this man good-looking, but he's a spendthrift too. There was no telling how many martial artists did not have the money to buy themselves cultivation supplies, but you are extravagant enough to buy cultivation supplies for your pets. After she recovered, Mu Wanxiu forced a smile. The superpower research department is only developing chi pellets suitable for martial artists and awakened for now. We had yet to develop anything for pets for now. Jiang He blinked, taken aback. Aren't those things universal? My pets have been eating chi pellets until they got all fattened up. Feeling a tightness over her chest, Mu Wanxiu clutched at her own chest then. How much of a wastrel could you be, feeding chi pellets to your pets? Oh, right. Jiang He suddenly asked, the numbers aren't quite right, yes. It's just over 10 million. If I remember correctly, the corpse of a rank point eight feral should be worth at least 30 million, right? The value of the horned boar is not listed in the inventory yet, Mu Wanxiu laughed. Jiang He, weren't you asking about medicinal pellets that were more expensive than chi pellets? We did manage to develop a chi pellet called the blended chi pellets, and rank point six martial artists could replenish their true chi rapidly with one pellet even when their true chi was exhausted, and it's effective for rank point seven grandmasters as well. Oh. Jiang He's eyes twinkled, how much are those? Three million. Mu Wanxiu said, putting up three fingers. The truth is that the blended chi pellets were just developed and still on clinical trials, and I had to go through some lengths to convince my grandfather letting me have ten pellets beforehand. I'll take everything you have. Jiang He said grandly. Jiang He, Mu Wanxiu laughed bitterly. My grandfather is looking to reduce the cost of making the blended chi pellets at the moment, and it could become cheaper when it's put on retail. Moreover, using it for cultivation costs too much, so I'm suggesting that you only buy three pellets and only take it when it matters, since it replenishes your true chi and rapidly requires combat ability. Jiang He was a little speechless at that. Replenish true chi for what? Was that even necessary? After all, he never once felt that he was short on true chi ever since he started cultivation. Combat was not theater. Why would there be something so elaborate? Burst out at full power upon encountering the enemy, cutting them down in several slashes. Why would he need to replenish his true chi? I'll have all ten blended chi pellets. I won't be paying, just take that horned boar corpse in return instead. Jiang He had his own plans too. As his farm leveled up, the EXP and farm points he could earn from Qi pellets are too few. Wouldn't it better to just swap for a higher dot level Qi pellet and level up his farm soon?